All right, happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. We have a lot to talk about as we track the tropics. We are going to be dealing with the potential for maybe a brief tropical depression or tropical storm as we go through the next 24 hours. What am I talking about? Well, we have a new development in the Western Caribbean. This is now potential tropical cyclone 15. You can see the burst of convection or showers and storms, those bright reds, yellows, oranges indicating those showers and storms getting more intense and starting to see more organization within this as well. In fact, this is just to the east of Belize to the southeast of the Yucatan Peninsula. And the good news is that it is not expected to head anywhere close to Houston or southeast Texas, but it could briefly become tropical storm Nadine or maybe a tropical depression. Basically right now it is a potential tropical cyclone, meaning that it doesn't quite have the characteristics of a tropical system, but there's a high chance now that we could potentially have a tropical depression or tropical storm very soon. So basically exactly what this graphic says, potential tropical cyclone was previously Invest 95L. It is now potential tropical cyclone number 15. It could briefly become a tropical depression or storm within the next day or so. It is expected though to make landfall Saturday, which is tomorrow around Belize, likely around Belize City. So it doesn't have much time over water. The water is very warm, but there's not going to be much time for this to really get its act together and get too strong before that landfall tomorrow. So that's why we're not expecting it to get super strong and it will continue on on that track basically to the west and not up towards the Houston area. However, even if it becomes a tropical storm, if it doesn't become a tropical storm, it is going to dump some heavy rain to parts of Central America and it's going to bring some of that heavy rain to parts of Southern Mexico as well. Here's the best thing for the Houston area, though no threat to Texas or any other parts of the U.S. Gulf Coast, so that is certainly some good news. As far as what it's doing right now, here's a look at it on our tropical satellite. You can see all of the heavy rain, the showers and storms, those reds and yellows indicating that shower and storm activity. And you can also see the general track, this area highlighted in red, basically the track we expect potential tropical cyclone 15 to take. And it's basically going to roll off to the west and push into parts of southern Mexico and northern portions of of Central America. You can see that it does have a high 70% chance to become a tropical system over the next couple of days. So anytime you have a potential tropical system, it can have a low shot for tropical development, a medium chance or a high chance. So anytime you get into the 70% to 90% range, of course, that is a high shot. And that is why that area is highlighted in red there. All right, now that we do have a potential tropical cyclone on our hands, we do have an official forecast track. And let me show you that at this point, as of the 4 p.m. update, potential tropical cyclone 15 is currently at 35 miles per hour as far as those maximum sustained winds are concerned. Gusts could be even stronger, maybe up to 40, 45, 50 miles per hour. And we've got pressure right around 1,005 millibars. Movement, as I mentioned, basically to the west or a little to the west, northwest around seven miles per hour. So not moving that fast, but the general track will take it over towards Belize City over the next 24 hours. So let me put this into motion. You'll see around 1 a.m. Saturday, still 35 mile per hour winds. There's a chance it could briefly pulse up and become a tropical depression or a low end tropical storm. But the chance of that happening, not super, super high that it is going to become a powerful system, but there is still a decent shot that it could briefly become a tropical depression or tropical storm. It pushes into Belize City by tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then it will be weakening as it dumps heavy rain over parts of Mexico and Central America. So that is where the messy weather will be this weekend. For the Houston area, this will stay pretty far to our south, so I do not anticipate any impacts. In fact, our exclusive Fox model future cast will show this potential tropical cyclone making landfall or very close to it around lunchtime on Saturday, right around noon. You can see that center of circulation very close to Belize City, just to the north of there and pushing over parts of the Yucatan Peninsula as well, bringing in some rounds of tropical downpours. And there will also be the chance for some gusty wind as well. 
Heading into 7 p.m. Saturday, you'll still see the same areas being impacted. Southern parts of Mexico, northern portions of Central America. That is where that threat for that heavy rain and some of the stronger gusty winds will be. But we're not expecting this to have enough time to blow up into a hurricane or anything like that. Probably won't even become a tropical storm, but there's a, a high chance it could, could become at least a tropical depression before it makes that landfall by tomorrow. As we go into Monday 8 p.m., still some heavier downpours over parts of Mexico and Central America, but by that time, that system will be falling apart as it would have been over land for a little bit of time. As far as the next name on the list, if it can manage to pulse up and become a low end tropical storm briefly, it would be called Nadine. After that, we would have Oscar, then Patty, Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and William to round off the list of 2024 storm names. So this far, Thus far, rather, this season, we've had about 13 named storms, starting off with Alberto, all the way down to Milton. Nine of those have become hurricanes. Four of those have become major hurricanes. Those have been Beryl, Helene, Kirk, and Milton. Of course, potential tropical cyclone 15 will not become a hurricane, but like I said, there's a low end shot that it could become a brief tropical storm and a high chance it could briefly become a tropical depression, but no threat to Texas. Do we have anything else out there that could threaten the Houston area? Well, there's one more system that we're monitoring. This is Invest 94L and it is actually getting very close to Puerto Rico, Haiti, the Dominican Republic. It's actually just to the north of Puerto Rico. You can see San Juan there and here is the disturbance. Notice the general track in yellow takes it to the west or west southwest. It's basically going to run into an environment with a lot of shear or upper level wind and that is not really conducive for the development of a tropical system. So if we don't get anything going over the next day or two, I think the chance for Invest 94L to become a tropical depression or tropical storm really starts to decrease by early next week and it likely would fall apart. But until then, at least through the weekend, there's a low 20% chance that we could have a brief tropical depression or tropical storm forming near Puerto Rico, near Haiti, near the Dominican Republic. And and it could get close to the Bahamas as we go into the next few days. Water temperatures out there, as I mentioned, the last few days are not as toasty, not as hot in the Gulf of Mexico. We're starting to get more of those fall like fronts pushing in to cool things off. And we've had two major hurricanes roll through in recent weeks, so that kind of helped to cool the waters as well. So the northern Gulf waters are cooling off, so the chance of a hurricane developing and making it up to the northern Gulf a little bit lower, but still look towards the Yucatan Peninsula. Water temps there are still in the low 80s, and that is where we have potential tropical cyclone 15 developing. So there's still enough fuel down there with that warm water for us to get briefly a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm. But like I said, it is not heading towards Houston. It will stay two hours south. In fact, for the rest of October, the chance for a tropical system rolling into the Gulf still on the low side. We're in the yellow. That means it's possible, but not likely. Better shot would be the Western Atlantic southeastern Gulf of Mexico and western portions of the Caribbean. But notice the northern Gulf not going to have a huge shot for tropical development. As we go into November, even that low chance goes away for the most part. Can't rule it out completely, but just a very low chance that we would have a tropical system rolling into the Gulf during the month of November. There are still a few other areas where there's at least a slim shot for a tropical system in November. That would be parts of the western, central Atlantic, and western and central parts of the Caribbean Sea, but that's going to be about it. So we'll continue to monitor things, but the weather pattern really starting to transition to more of that fall like pattern where we're getting those stronger fronts. The water temps are trying to cool off a little bit. So overall, it's going to take a lot for these systems to make it all the way up to the Houston area. We've had enough craziness to deal with though so far for this season. In fact, 13 named storms, nine hurricanes, four of those becoming major hurricanes. So we're right around average, close to average for the number of named storms, but above average for the number of hurricanes and major hurricanes. 
and we could still have a few more named storms to get us into that above average range there as well. You can see where this compares with the NOAA forecast that was put out early in the season. 17 to 24 named storms they call for 8 to 13 hurricanes and 4 to 7 major hurricanes. So we've reached that hurricane and major hurricane range and before the season is over, we'll likely get up to that 17 to 24 named storms range as well. So bottom line, things are kind of calming down a little bit, but just as I just told you, we do still have potential tropical cyclone 15. We do still have Invest 94L, so we can't rule out a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a brief hurricane, but the chances are getting lower as expected for this time of the year. Last week or two of October, chances are going down for tropical systems, and for November, that chance is even lower. But until we completely get through hurricane season, don't let your guard down. Make sure that you are checking in with us daily for our detailed tropical updates, and also make sure that you know exactly what to do. Make sure you're prepared just in case we do get that hurricane or that tropical storm heading our way. The chance is very, very low this time of hurricane season, but you always should be prepared. Well, that will do it. That'll wrap it up for your tropical update for this Friday afternoon. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Have a great weekend.